So, he transferred. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone! How are you all doing? I am Lei, an aspiring aerospace engineer from Ateneo de Davao University, here to present you some information that you might find interesting, especially if you're an avid fan of aerospace engineering as well as aviation. In the current time, there are already multiple aircraft and spacecraft designs built for different purposes. For example, for the purpose of surveying, there are a lot of aircrafts that are capable of surveying inside the atmosphere as well as outside the atmosphere. There are multiple aircrafts that are also capable for transportation made in a smaller scale or even the larger scale. And as we all know, there are different types of aircrafts, for example, rotary winged aircraft as well as fixed wing aircraft. But each of these types of aircraft are undergoing a constant effect due to its surrounding environment. And one of those effects and one of those factors includes heat transfer. But Lei, what is heat transfer? Well, let me show you. So for its definition, heat transfer is generally defined as the flow of heat or thermal energy due to temperature gradients that ranges from low to high temperatures between two mediums. Heat transfer concerns itself with the generation, use, conversion, and exchange of thermal energy between physical systems. It constantly follows a trend where the heat flow is always directed from objects with higher temperature to objects with lower temperatures. This is a direct consequence of the second law of thermodynamics. Heat transfer has multiple modes on how heat energy is actually transferred from one medium to another, and these forms are namely called conduction, convection, as well as radiation. So now, let's have a brief overview of each one, starting with conduction. So for conduction, it's a process by which heat energy is transmitted through collisions between neighboring atoms or molecules. Conduction occurs more readily in solids, liquids, where the particles are closer together than in gases where particles are further apart. Next definition we have for convection. Convection is a way for heat to move, also referred to as a heat transfer mechanism. The transfer of heat happens when a fluid such as air or water is in motion. Convection is driven by temperature differences across that fluid. And lastly, the definition for radiation. Radiation is the transfer of energy by electromagnetic wave motion. The transfer of energy from the sun across nearly empty space is accomplished primarily by radiation. Radiation occurs without the involvement of a physical substance as the medium. So to better understand and grasp the different types of heat transfer, let me present to you a figure that will help you visualize how each and every type of heat transfer actuates in reality. Alright, so now that we have a brief understanding on what we are going to be dealing with today, let us see how heat transfer is applied on the concepts of aerospace systems. Now we all know that currently in our society, there are already a lot of aerospace systems and discussing how heat transfer applies to each and every one of those aerospace systems would take us such a long time, which is not given for this particular video, unfortunately. So we will only be focusing on one aerospace system that will effectively introduce to you on how heat transfer influences an aerospace system. However, if you do happen to really want to know about how heat transfer actually applies on other aerospace systems besides the one that I'm going to be presenting to you in this video, you are free to research it on your own free time in the internet. So, the aerospace system that we will be discussing for this particular video is none other than hot air balloons. A hot air balloon is a lighter than air aircraft consisting of a bag called an envelope which contains heated air. Suspended beneath 
is a gondola or wicker basket which carries passengers and a source of heat, in most cases an open flame caused by burning liquid propane. So why did I choose hot air balloons as the main aerospace system that we will be tackling about in this video? That is because the concept of flight for hot air balloons is actually based upon one of the forms of the heat transfer. As you all know, I have presented to you earlier in this video three forms which are namely the conduction, convection, as well as the radiation. Now, can you guess which of these three are the main concept for hot air balloons? I'll give you a hint. It involves the hot air inside the hot air balloon as well as the cooler air outside the hot air balloon. That's right, you guessed it. It's the concept of convection. If you got it right, congratulations, but if you got it wrong, nice try. So the hot air balloon relies on its burner to generate the lift that it needs to fly. From the concept of heat transfer, we all know that the trend of the flow is always from a higher temperature towards lower temperature. Relating this concept towards the system of a hot air balloon, the burner of the aircraft constantly heats the air found inside the envelope, which is the main shape of the hot air balloon. The envelope forces the heated air to be trapped within the aircraft and is constantly surrounded by air that maintains a relatively lower temperature. The hot air balloon has an opening at the bottom part of the envelope and the heated air would then use that opening to flow towards lower temperature which would then consequently produce lift. The burner constantly heating the envelope would cause the trapped air to have lesser density in comparison to the air found outside of the aircraft. And we all know that higher density sinks, lesser density floats. Which is why hot air balloons are defined as lighter than air aircraft. Alright, that basically wraps up how the concept of heat transfer would apply to an aerospace system. Well, in this case, it's the hot air balloon. Now we all know that the concept of heat transfer, its influences as well as its interactions can be found almost everywhere, ranging from a simple observation of a hot cup of coffee to the more complex examples of aerospace systems. Knowledge and expertise with regards to heat transfer is especially important in the field of aerospace engineering. This is because heat transfer has an underlying influence to the overall flight efficiency and performance of any type of aircraft. This may range from the heat loss of the material which affects the overall efficiency as well as the provision of cooling systems to prevent system overheating and many more applications in an aerospace system. Learning about the concept of heat transfer is not only effective in mitigating its unwanted effects towards the system but that knowledge can also be utilized to improve the aerospace system as well as build concepts around it. For example, the aerospace system that I introduced to you in this video, the hot air balloon. Due to the knowledge with regards to heat transfer, the hot air balloon was able to base its concept of flight around the heat transfer form of convection. Well, with that said, that basically wraps up this video. Hopefully you learned something and continue to learn about the underlying concepts that exist all around the world and use those concepts to further innovate the current ones that we already have. That's all from me. Goodbye.